Stevenson has left, but I suspect other people have the same question. Um, is a possible solution to dig our wells deeper to access deeper aquifers that do not contain PFAS? So my question is, this product doesn't sound like it's going to come out of the soil. It's nothing you can dig out and haul. If you dug and haul, you'd have so many millions of yards of dirt that you'd have to dig out. And all you're doing is hauling it into somebody else's backyard and dumping it. So with this, the answer to this is so large, and it's like anything, it's all driven by the money. And after a while, you're going to run out of money. And, and it's all these sites and all these wells that you have and a part per million is great, but it doesn't cure anything. I drank from the Rogue River for eight years. I talked to a number of people who were concerned about that. I think of the Tannery Rivers who worked in this. And I asked myself, wouldn't it be valuable to have people who raised families in Rockford who, whose children may go on to have fiber and problems and this and that, even though we don't have a number to at least have their blood tested? And if you're waiting for 400 more people, and I say this out loud because I know there are people here from the DHHS and Kent County, certainly I think it would be very valuable to test the tannery workers, many of them who have family health. And I think it would be valuable to involve the people who lived in water before we were changed over to a new well in 2000. And it's a question that's been asked before, but it sort of hangs there. And I'm asking it again. I'm hoping maybe the cat can pick it up. But it's, it's a question. <laughs>